last drive when they were able to push it in for six. And they hope it'll be that easy, right? To be able to take exactly what happened before, replicate it. They may have to make a few additional changes along the way because I'm sure the defense will make some adjustments, but they've got to have great confidence having scored the last time out. They'll start out on the ground. It's Lamar Miller. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. Second down. So nothing there. I don't know that that's all in the back, though. you got to look at blocking there, don't you? I would agree with that totally. At some point, they have to win at the point of attack. Instead, it was the defense getting it done again and holding them to no gain. Second down, Prescott looking for his running back, and he's got it. They'll give him eight on the play, and that'll make it third and one. It's funny, throughout the time that we've been together, when we talk with running backs about the ability to catch the ball, their eyes light up when they talk about open field and having one-on-one -on -one matchups, don't they? Yeah, they do, and that's the reason why. What we just saw, shedding those tackles, and that's what they're used to doing. It is, and it starts at the beginning of the play, one-on-one -on -one matchup if someone's trying to cover them, but they also like those one-on-ones downfield after the catch when they're running with the ball. They think they're going to win those, too. They come up in an offset eye. Third and short yardage. Prescott gets it to Gordon. A strong running. And he will have the first down as he gets this to the 47. A good pick up there of 20 yards. I don't care how many times we see it. I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. Now a handoff to Miller. Try to bounce it outside, but he's only able to get it back to the line of scrimmage. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. A one-yard gain could look like a disaster, but it all depends on how the game is going. Is it a series of one-yard gains running the ball? If that's the case, you might have to start thinking about throwing it a little bit more. But if it's just the occasional one-yard run, hey, congratulations to the defense. They won that one. Come back and get them the next time. A second down throw for Prescott. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. Josh Gordon, the intended receiver. And that takes us from second to third down. And he's certainly not a guy that drops that football very often. Indeed, because that's a bit of a surprise. I know he's in the middle of some traffic and people, bodies all around him, but he usually has the focus to haul that one in. And the line to gain here is the 37 on third down. Third down, it's Prescott. And he comes back with one complete. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. Offense comes to the line now, first and 10. They go back to the ground now with Miller. And he'll be taken down at the 34. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Now the Steelers put a stop to the action with a timeout defensively. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Second down following the run. They'll come out in the pistol. Prescott from the gun. Underneath from Miller. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. It's a 10-yard pickup, and it moves the chains. Here we go. And 
And time for us to take a break here in the booth. Back to Denver right after this. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. Again, we'll see the pistol here. Tim Carey now for Lamar Miller. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. And he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom. Quick, quick, quick. And what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. to his running back, Lamar Miller, and it's third down. It's always tough for the guys throwing the football when they think they've got a completion and the ball's almost there, and then someone sneaks a hand or two in and bats it away. And the seemingly endless drive continues. Prescott from the gun on third. That's complete. It's Gordon. And he gets the first down yardage before he's brought down just outside the 10 at the 11. Well, we always hear about the connections some quarterbacks have with certain receivers. I think this guy has a connection with just about everyone. Didn't mind throwing it in there against double coverage to him. Show some confidence. Supreme confidence. Big time confidence that he would make the play for him, and he did. Prescott looks to throw on first. Out to the flat. That's complete to his running back. Call it a three-yard gain, and that'll make this a second down. All right, I'm going to show my age here a little bit. We used to talk about running backs catching the ball as safety valves. Nowadays, they're a big part of the passing offense. Quit acting like you're so old. You're only 65. <laughs> Slot man moves right. Here's Prescott. That's going to be caught at the 10 yard line. A gain of four on the play, and that'll lead here to a third down. And at his size, he's a smaller back. You can get him to football. He can kind of get lost, make someone miss. It's good for him. Yeah, it's great for him. I like what you said there. Sometimes he gets lost in the traffic a little bit. And this is caught for a Bronco touchdown. Their dangerous wide receiver, his sixth touchdown of the season. And the Broncos have broken the tie. And that touchdown gives them a touchdown lead before they attempt the extra point. What a great way to end the half. Yeah, great job to put themselves in front. And now, see on the sideline, special teams defense scrambling, saying we want to preserve this for the final moments of this second quarter. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. That's fielded in the end zone. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Trying to get it there to Martavis Bryant. That'll bring up second down. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. Again on second and ten, it's Roethlisberger. And they get to him with a pressure as Roethlisberger goes down. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference. Jeez, don't you at least want your guys to get a drink of water? Probably pretty thirsty. Whatever, your wish, our command. Third quarter now. This fielded at the two. 
and he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. Here comes the Broncos' offensive unit here as they'll have it first to begin this third quarter. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you term that because now I think they go a little bit deeper into their playbook. They like what they did in the first half. That worked okay. But in order to get the separation that you just talked about, change things up a little bit. Change your tendencies. Try and hit them a little bit more with some things they didn't see in the first half. Let's we'll see if they do just that. Prescott on first down. Going up top. And that's caught inside the 35. And all the way home for the Broncos score. Paul Richardson with touchdown number eight on the year. And the Broncos will extend their lead. And correct me if I'm wrong, that was just a simple fly route, wasn't it? No, there's nothing to correct at all. You've got it down pat. And I just remember as a player, when I'd be in practice sessions, and I'd hear nine from the receivers. That meant fly route, go, uh-oh, look out. <laughs> that was the nine, and he just kept going all the way into the end zone for the touchdown. And the mile high air in full effect as that's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. A look at the offense now here coming back out on the road for their first possession of the second half. They're down in this game. A chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here in half two. Try and get things kick-started for them. And you know at the half, they discussed how they were going to get that done. This is where scripting comes into play a lot of the time. How many plays do you script coming out of the second most, most of the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to 16. I think in the second half, you're really scripting more like 8 to 10. Kind of a starter or an opener, whatever, they, whatever terminology they use. Just something to get you off to a quick start. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. They got pressure there and only rushing three. And there's a defensive coordinator right now who is celebrating not just getting home with three there, but realizing if that's the type of pressure he can get in the entire game, then his pass defense is going to be excellent. You're dropping eight. Where are you going to go with the football? On third down, Roethlisberger. Wide open receiver complete. It'll be a gain of 16 and give him a first down as well. All right, let's just go ahead and walk through this one pretty easily, right? Blast off the line of scrimmage, get downfield to a certain point, usually around 8 to 10 yards, turn around and make sure the quarterback sees your numbers and set yourself up for the pass. A well-executed curl round by Charles Davis. Well, they went for the big play there, but that drop could really hurt their momentum. Second down now after the incompletion. Second and ten now. It's Roethlisberger. Austin's got it left side. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this into enemy territory across the 40. Really nice little connection there. They go with the corner route, and it works out well. And the best way to set up the corner route is to throw slants throughout the ball game so that when you're able to get back outside, the defender has to respect the inside game. Bryant, the lone receiver left. On first down, it's Roethlisberger. He's going to rifle one, and this is taken in at the five. They'll get 32 yards there, and the Steelers are going to have a first and goal. And at this stage, down in the second half, looks like they just wanted to find a way to get it in the hands of their playmaker, and they did. I think you're exactly right. I don't think the coordinator's looking at his play sheet and trying to figure out which play will work well. He's trying to figure out how to get the ball to the playmaker that you just described. Looking down at that sheet, you find people plays, not necessarily X's and O's, and that's exactly what they did there. They come up with one running back. That's Bell. First down and goal. The offense knocking on the door. And he gets halfway home from the four down to the two-yard line. Well, Brandon, we always know that once you score one touchdown, you want to. You're without a doubt. And so far today, he's got one, but was denied as he tried to get the second one. Offense walks to the line for play number seven of the drive. They come out here in the eye. And now it's second and goal. On the ground with a tight end. And he's in. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. 
Jesse James, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Steelers have now made this a one-score game. He's got it, and they're back within a touchdown at 28-21. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. This fielded at the two. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards, up to the 27-yard line. And coming out now, the Broncos. And last time, the formula was pretty simple. One play drive, long pass. That Maybe they just want to do that again, right? And that's exactly how you want to draw things up, whether it's on your grease board, right, in your playbook. One play drive is exactly what you want on offense. What they have to be careful of is not having a letdown. It was yeah. very easy last time. They can't expect that going forward. And we'll see if it's that easy here. Henry's got it out on the left side. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. And never good on a pass completion there to go the wrong way. Lost yardage. No, for some reason, it seems to work better when you throw it downfield or you can move the ball downfield running it that way, doesn't it? But in this case, if you're the defensive guys, you're energized, executed well, and you caused a lost yardage play. That's going to feel good and look great in film. Prescott now on second down. He's got his man in the crossing route. A good gain of 14 there, and it moves the chains. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme. And you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. And third quarter here, you've got the lead. This is where that strong run game can really benefit. You stayed in bounds there, kept the clock going. I like all the points you just made there. And if you throw the football and it's incomplete, now you've stopped the clock and you've helped out the guys on the other side of the ball. So keep it in the hands of those runners. Keep moving it. Keep grinding the clock. Seven here. Eight yards on the pickup there, and it moves the sticks. And that's a nice pickup of a first down on that second down run. And at that yardage gained, they can run that plan any down. extended one and, and the guy carrying the ball he's becoming more like a body blows guy every carry is putting some damage on the defense so after a while I'm not too sure how many guys gonna want to run up and tackle him out of the pistol look it's Miller and he's got some space here and down he goes taking it inside the 10 just shy of the five at the six I'm still an old-school football guy, and anytime you see a big-time running play, that fires me up. And if I'm on offense right now, in the position they're in now, inside the 10-yard line, I think after the way they've run it, they've set themselves up for a good play-action pass opportunity right here. Back now at the home of the champs here in Denver. It's Bronco football, and they also have the lead here as we get set for the fourth. Miller, the lone setback. 
So the chains are on their sides. It's first and goal from the six. And he'll get this one back to the five-yard line, but no further than that. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. And in this situation with the lead fourth quarter, they're liking keeping the ball on the ground, I'm sure. That's just smart football, but you know the defense has to know it as well. They've got to stop them here. So now we're going to see that loading the box in a big way. Six, seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take. Puts a little bit more pressure on your big offensive line. Miller will get it. He has been busy today. And not a whole lot there. He does get a couple, taking it from the five down to the three. That didn't just feel like good defense there. That felt like pride, didn't it? He's already gotten into the end zone twice, trying to get there for a third time. No one likes to have the hat trick against them. Well, they've got it down to the three, but now this is third and goal. Here's Miller. And they'll get him down just shy of the goal line at about the one. He needed three. He got two. Now that'll set up an interesting situation here on fourth and a yard. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This to make it a two-score game. And McManus able to put it through. And that will push the lead up to double digits now at 10. So a big one there is that gives them a little cushion. And you know, here in the fourth quarter, the fact that they were able to bleed some time off the clock and put points on the board, even if it's only three, that could turn out to be the drive that ultimately wins them the game. This will be taken in at the one. And a nice return sets them up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. Now the Steelers' offense gets ready to get back onto the field. And they're hoping to capture some of that magic they had last time out when they were able to put together a scoring drive. But they're still down here, Charles. Not the major concern, though, because of what you talked about. They scored the last time out. They feel good about themselves. They feel like their game plan is now in effect. They know how to attack and what plays they want to put together. But they've got to keep it moving in the right direction because, as you did note, they are down on the scoreboard. First and ten, it's Roethlisberger. And it's complete to Ladarius Green. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. A good start there on first down. They've got to have this drive. No doubt about it. Down a couple of scores. They have to find a way to put it in the end zone. Chunk plays, explosive plays. That will be the key to this drive. They go play action here on first down. He's going to fire one deep, middle of the field. And that one falls incomplete. Looked like he might have had position there, but he couldn't hold on it at second down. And when all else fails as a defender, when you're not there in the coverage, your best friend is exactly what we saw there. A big play shot taken by the offense. Unfortunately, it ended in a big drop. Again on second and ten, it's Roethlisberger. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And they'll get nine there as that sets them up better for third down. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. And the Broncos go to a nickel set on third down. Yeah, they've got an extra DB out there. They'll try and run for it with Bell. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. And five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. Everyone understood their role on that play. Third and one, you know the defensive guys, they're trying to get down and get low and get leverage on the offensive linemen, but they didn't allow that to happen. They created a crease and allowed him to get through for a first down. So they took a shot on first down but couldn't connect. In this situation, it's really tough to figure out how to defend because they have plenty of room to still take deep shots at the end zone as they just did there. Yet at the same time, you've got to be ready for the short throw. In this case, when you see the cue that they're going for the end zone, retreat and make sure you have a way to play forward back towards the receiver and have a chance to bat the ball away as they did there. On second down, it's Bell. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. A nice pick up there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. 
And they'll keep it on the ground with Bell. And he is going to lose yardage here. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. We just saw another example of how the defense is winning this game. Really at the point of attack, the offensive line is just getting pushed around. I think now as a play caller, you've got to give them a little bit of help. Maybe you keep your tight ends a little bit more. Maybe the running backs help you a little bit with the pass blocking. But you've got to help them get some confidence because you can't abandon the play calling right now. Looked like the defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. Out of the gun, it's Roethlisberger. This is Bell on the dump off. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Call it a pickup of seven, and it'll be second and goal. And quickly, they get to the line. Second and goal from the two-yard line. And he pushes forward, but comes up short of the goal line as he'll get a yard down to about the one. Defense may be thinking pass. They come out in the nickel on third and goal. Someone moved, flag is out, that's going to be five yards. And that'll drive coaches crazy. You work all week on dealing with loud crowds, on dealing with motion, and then you have a guy jump. They got to have six here. It's third and goal. On third and goal, Roethlisberger eluding the pressure right. Got his man. It's caught for a Steelers touchdown. Their dangerous wide receiver. His first touchdown on the year. And the Steelers are able to make this a close game again. It took them an extra look, but they found out it is a touchdown indeed. The official says this one counts. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. And as we see so frequently here in Colorado, that one over the inline. So it'll come out to the 25. And Denver getting set to take the field. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point kicker. Exactly. He put it through the post. That's going to help him with contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that helped him with contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. Toe bash. I don't know about Toe that. Toe <laughs> Super toe. <laughs> So the run gets them the first, and now they operate with a fresh set of downs. Another pistol look here. Miller, the lone set back. Now a handoff as they run left side. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Now the Steelers put a stop to the action with a timeout defensively. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. And the offense behind the chains here a touch on second and 11. Prescott. Complete. Richardson has it. And he takes this one all the way across midfield into enemy territory down to the 40 yard line. And now a first down following that long gain. Carry of the game for Lamar Miller. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Now hang on here. Timeout called. Timeout called by the defense. It'll be their third and final timeout. So as they talk things over, we'll step aside. See if they stay on the ground for second down.
They'll run it again with Miller. And he is going to lose yardage here. He lost four there, and it's third down. So, Brandon, when this offense gathers together to watch tape for this game, they're going to be feeling pretty good about themselves until the coaches get upset about the play we just saw. But you know their defense is going to be. But we put up big points all game long. The defense is going to win one every now and then. The offense staring at a third and 12 here. Here's Prescott. Looking left side, it's complete. He's got it. And he's got the first as they'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. And this defense, they needed that one more stop to have any chance, but that completion, that's likely going to seal their fate. And you could hear it in your voice, that one more <laughs> stop. I feel their pain. Oh, it was so important. They just didn't get it done. Wow, what a way to finish this one off. Defense showing blitz. So a defensive brain lapse there and an encroachment penalty. Sometimes when you don't watch the football and make sure that it's snapped, you're watching the offensive player, and they can influence you occasionally and look like they're getting ready to move, and the officials don't detect it. The win for the Broncos seemingly assured they go down to a knee. 